But you know, what's going to happen is Mexico is going to pay for the wall. I will tell you right now, they're going to pay for the wall. Because they've been doing a number on us. Their leaders are much smarter, much more cunning than our leaders. Our leaders don't have a clue. They do not have a clue. And they're really far more cunning. Get out of here. So that happened fairly early on at this fairly typical Donald Trump rally in Springfield, Illinois, on Monday. But people watching this event at home, people watching the feed of this event, started to notice something else that was a little bit unusual about this event. There was a tight little group of people sitting right behind Donald Trump on stage who were not necessarily reacting like all the other excited Donald Trump fans at the event. Uh, and then people watching started to notice this one very poised young woman who was calmly reading, flipping pages in a book that she was reading right behind Mr. Trump as he continued with his speech. Who is this woman? What's going on here? Um, some Donald Trump fans at one point interceded with her, and there was an interaction or two that, that didn't look all that pleasant. Uh, they ultimately roped in another person sitting near them to start complaining about this young woman. Uh, but, but she stuck with it, sometimes watching what Donald Trump was doing, but mostly reading, mostly reading right behind him. And by this point, people have started to notice online in Donald Trump's uh, speech, it goes on and on and on, and she's sort of starting to become internet legend as the Donald Trump page turner. And then the Donald Trump rally in Illinois, it ends, and the Donald Trump supporters lead to their feet and they're clapping and waving their political signs. Uh, and then sh she's still there too, but she's waving that book. She's waving Claudia Rankin's book of poems. She's waving that, that book about how racism works now in everyday ways in our country. And now, from that, not quite a protest, just that unbowable presence, that young woman has become kind of a literary touchstone for these two stories coming together, these worlds colliding. And not just worlds colliding accidentally, but this young woman bringing about that collision herself quietly, on purpose, in a way that drove people absolutely nuts. Who is she? Well, she joins us now for the interview. The young woman who was captured on camera behind Mr. Trump, reading Claudia Rankin's book, Citizen, Jahari Osai Adusi. Uh, Ms. Adusi, thank you very much for being here. It's a real pleasure to have you. And when you had that interaction that we've, we've shown tonight between the people who were sitting nearby you, who seemed um, uh, confrontational or annoyed with you or something, what was going on there, and, and how did you feel about that? I felt like th they felt like I was disrespectful for reading during the rally. But there was a shifting point um, that you showed with the protesters and the supporters. And there was an aggression. And I don't know if everyone saw it, but there was a small aggression uh, of a young woman who was a protester. She was 16 years old. And a man jacked off her, uh, her favorite Obama hat and threw it out into the crowd, and the crowd was cheering. And me and my three friends were disgusted. Because, yes, protesters have every right to protest. If they're going to be escorted out, let them be escorted out. But they don't have to be disrespected. Not by you. And to kind of, like, explain that, like, the kind of get out of here is like, I mean, Bernie Sanders invited the Black Lives Matter protesters on stage, mm. and if you're going, if you're going to, if that's your opponent and you're trying to make a point and you're trying to, you're trying to make me, someone who's trying to have an open mind, uh, gain votes. That's not one way to do it. And so I was more disgusted by his supporters and um, how how how. Um, how it just kind of, he let it happen, he kind of egged it on. Mm -hmm. Because it also, there was this incident in Florida with his supporters where his supporters were violently, uh, his protesters, I'm sorry, were violently dragged out of one of his uh, uh, rallies. And incidents like that, 
uh, are bullied and they're not needed and they shouldn't be supported. So I was 30 minutes into the speech and I was like, okay, I came here because I wanted to see, I wanted to see, I wanted to see this man and I wanted to try, try to have an open opinion about him. And after I saw those incidents, I felt uninterested and I didn't feel like this is what I came for, and I felt disappointed.